All right, so step one, we're going to write a letter. I think West and Samson could help out with that. Yep. I think we'll address uh, all your items here in your letter to us. A, B, C, and D. I don't think it's on. Nope. There you go. Thank you. Better? Thank you. That sounds much better. <laughs> okay, so uh, letter one, your know, items A, B, C, and D. Um, we'll try to get as much information as possible in there. And then the survey itself. So let's start with the survey that we currently have in front of us. And we'll go potentially line by line to figure out what questions everybody feels like should be in there and if there's anything we want to delete or if there's anything we want to add. Um, we'll do that. Well, keep in mind we'll... exactly what are we trying to accomplish with the survey? What is the town council looking for as information getting back from the survey? I think the potential uh, here is to get the public's interest level in sewers and their affordability. That's right, yeah. Interest level, exactly. And so, uh, whether they can, you know, they feel so they can afford it uh, or, uh, or not. Right. This might also provide uh, areas on the facilities plan, since we're planning on mailing it out to the facilities plan area, which if there's one area that is more in favor than other areas, we might be able to look at those areas. So I assume that, uh, Graham, this is for you, I, I assume that this is going to be a, um, like a generic mailing, it's just going to go out to everybody that's on the sewer district, right? We're not going to mail this to the individual. Correct. Right? We'll probably do, just do it to their homeowner. Right. And so definitely a return address stamps. I mean, is that something doable? We can we can send a stamped envelope so people yeah, can just we'll, drop it in the mail. We'll and probably have a mail house to send it. Yeah. Okay. So let's go with this form that we have, line by line. So we definitely need the street and the house number. Um, Lot size, line two. <laughs> so we're going to cross out lot size. We'll get rid of number two. Unless there's any objections. Um, whether they own or rent. I don't think the, um, the tenants are going to get any of this information. Is it renters, right? Should all get mailed to the uh, owner of the property. So we'll delete number three. Uh, number four, describe your building. One, two, three, family, apartment, mobile home, commercial. I think that needs to be on there. Well, are we even going to, are we going to send it to commercial and industrial? I think we're going to send it to everybody that's on the um, so facilities plan. Yeah. Right? Okay. I, I think we should describe, maybe break this part out and make it uh, a check list. Or if you have one bedroom, you check one bedroom. Well, our ordinance describes everything as either residential or non-residential. We don't break out commercial, industrial. So maybe we stick to that format where it's just a check mark, whether it's residential or non-residential. Five, how many people usually occupy your building? I, mean, I don't think there are not too many. many. Yeah, we should put the Right. How long have you owned or rented this building? <coughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of getting rid of that one. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a little more <coughs> Same thing with number seven, the age of the building doesn't really matter. Any difference. So, number eight, drinking water supply. You're going to need that when you need it, right? Consumption? Um, yeah, I'm just I'm having a hard time figuring out why or how this.
this would um, relate any information to the council on usability, usability or um, financial aspects. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'll check this out before. Right. Yeah, because we're not trying to determine, you know, the the, you, the, you know, the use of it at this point. It's pretty much the, right. to determine the uh, the installation of uh, the infrastructure. All right, to get there, but the use comes afterwards. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's necessary. Right. Right. Realistically, it doesn't matter whether they have a septic system, a cesspool, or whatever. Well, I, I think it, I think it is going to matter when it comes to the questions of um, you know how long. It, Tie in, well, yeah, but that's going to be addressed in the full letter. So number eight, we're not going to do it. Oh, number eight is crossed off. I don't know, I think we should keep number nine, unless uh, anybody says they really want to delete it, but I'm in favor of leaving it, but limiting it to either um, cesspool or private. Um, on-site wastewater. We can get rid of all the other, um, you know, whether it's a holding tank of municipal sewer or other. But if we um, leave two boxes to get checkmarked, whether it's accessible or private OWTS. You don't think it would be good to gauge if they have municipal sewers already, what they're in public are we sending this to people who already have sewers? I would imagine if it's everybody in the entire system, or you think we should exclude them? Well, I think we're looking to get feedback from the people who are currently getting sewers or the people who don't have sewers and are going to be subject to sewers in the future. Okay. Does anybody, anybody else think? So we can just, I, th I think we leave the question, we put two check marks, whether it's a cesspool or a private septic system. We could probably use it um, as a baseline going forward. Might be able to refer back to it in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Sounds like Graham wants it. Yeah. I'm good with it. Have you had any problems with your wastewater disposal system? I think that's a pretty good info to have. Definitely when you're trying to figure out if you should sewer an area. Well, that'll, that'll be answered by whatever they put for number 11. How often do you have to have it pumped? Well, pumping it and having problems with it, two different things. Right. When most people don't even pump it until they 
travel. Yeah. I'm a fan of keeping it. Anybody else want to keep it or get rid of it? Mm -hmm. I keep it. Keep it. It's good information for staff. You know what's happening is you know Okay. I'll be for I think we just uh, leave number 12 as is, but we can, I think we can definitely skip uh, 13 and just uh, eliminate the detail part of it. Yeah. Does anybody want to keep 13? All right, move on to 14. <coughs> Which seasons? Uh, I think we can skip that one. Okay. Next page, 15. Another one, if yes to 12. Uh, this, I think 15 is just way too much detail. Yep. I'm a fan of getting rid of it. Anybody want to keep it? No. Just an opinion. Yeah. Just a public opinion. Uh, same thing with 16. Everything's still going back to number 12. I'm a fan of getting rid of 16 as well. So 17, have you had your disposal system replaced, repaired, or modified? I think that one's pretty good, just the way it is. Is that information on a, you know, elsewhere that would be you know, available? You know, that on is, a, is that it is available. Is town, town records? Uh, yeah, it is available online, but the, um, the year is available. Cost is not. So, if you believe that the town council is interested in that cost, then I think we should leave them there. If you think they're not, or anybody in the town is interested in that cost, then? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These days, there's no such thing as too much debt. Well, sometimes there is, right? Uh, all right, so move on to number 18. How much have you invested in your disposal system over the past 10 years? I think uh, we can scrap that one if we're going to stick with number 17 where we're already asking for the cost. Any objections there? Anybody want to keep it? Okay. 19. Are you aware of any wastewater problems in Coventry? I kind of think we need to scrap that one, but I oh, wouldn't be too educated in this area to know that. Well, I, I mean, I think the idea probably was to say, okay, you know, maybe there's someone that you know that might not answer this, uh, this uh, 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 that may be having problems uh, somewhere there. It, uh, but, but again, it's uh, someone got the answer, they're probably going to say no. Anyway, you know, I, I know what the idea is. I'm for scrap. Anybody want to keep it? All right, let's grab it. All right, number 20. Do you feel your neighborhood should be sewered, even if the cost to the typical profit only could be? I think we need to rework, reword this question. And I'm open to suggestions right now. I think it, it should kind of Full on lines of a, a traditional septic system, basically. Right, well, we're trying to get the information from the homeowner of what is affordable <coughs> um, for a sewer, right? If your neighborhood is sewered at a particular cost, <coughs> which, which one of these? affordable to you. Right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Maybe can we specify over a 20 year period. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to read ahead for a minute here. Yeah. together and I'm thinking there might be a better way to ask this question between 20 and 21. If we lump it all into 
one, uh, one question we asked. If sewers were coming to your neighborhood at a cost of, say, a 10,000 feet, 10 or 15, 15 or 20, or which, which segment of cost would be acceptable for sewers coming to your neighborhood? Check one that applies. Should be sued. What do you think an appropriate cost would be to the homeowners? How about this? How about the question? Just the way it's worded. Do you feel that your neighborhood should be sewered? Question mark. Scrap the rest of the sentence. And then, if the cost was with all these check with all these boxes. So the that's it. it's a two-part question. Do you feel your neighborhood should be sewered for the yes or no? And then under it, the list at which at which cost? It's gonna be the cost of them. Say, do you feel your neighborhood should be sued? Yes or no? If the cost was less than ten thousand, the answer may be yes. If it's more than ten thousand, maybe no. So we can write put a, a Y or an N next to this line item for them to check yes or no next to that cost. Assessment has to be in the assessment cost. That's what we're talking about. Right. That's exactly what this is. It says that in there? No, it doesn't. But we should, it should that's why we're trying to reword it to say that. So, what I'm trying to say is we limit the question to do you feel that your neighborhood should be sewered? with a question mark, end it right there. And then underneath it, we have another line that says, at an assessment cost to you at, check which applies. So, we can get some info on where people think that the assessment is, an afford is affordable. So right. it was in that neighborhood. Because if the septic is failing, and it's going to cost from 12 to 14,000 to put in a septic. Right. They would probably be asked to go up to 14 for the sewers. Yeah. So we'll change the wording after um, should be sewered to an assessment cost. Do you want to imagine oh. that it's spread over 20 years? <coughs> yeah. Assessment cost to you over 20 years, check all that apply. And then we'll have a yes or no in front of the 15 to 20,000 or the 10 to 15,000. So they can just circle the Y or the N. So you want a long term for that? Yep. And the ones on the bottom 20 to 25, 25 to 30, and over 30? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, why do we want to go through every single I, 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 
I'm, I would almost like to say, what, do you, you know, what would you consider a fair assessment? You know, you know, I, I mean, and, and leave all the, you know, for your, you know, for your property, obviously. And then again, if they, if they feel is that a, a septic system is going to cost X number of dollars, uh, if, okay. many of them will, may not know what it's a septic system. You know, is uh, is going for even though the range, uh, from what I've been told, is generally about twelve to thirty thousand know. dollars. All right, so let's just jump forward to twenty one for a second. Read that one and see if we want to keep any of that in there first. So we're going to figure out what information we're trying to get back. So one, we want to know if people support sewers in the neighborhood at all. Nope. Then we want to know at what cost it becomes what, unacceptable. Right. So we definitely want, want to know whether they support the sewers at all. Then we want to know at what cost, at what cost is acceptable. But we have to spell out that that cost is over a 20-year period with 6% interest. Greg, as the, as the town council talked about changing the interest rate, uh, we, we, ha we haven't discussed it uh, as, as part of the council yet, but it's something that uh, I know, uh, uh, I think individually I've spoken with, uh, uh, with and, and again, in other discussions, I know with, uh, uh, that I had gotten a packet from, uh, uh, from Janine Burke uh, over Warwick, and they're using a, uh, a cost plus type of thing, you know, uh, uh, which my thought process was, okay, well, we have uh, uh, so many bonds out at an at average cost, and they're using one point, uh, uh, the cost plus 1.25% is what Warwick is, is at now. So whether we were at, you know, we can go to 1.25, 1.5, somewhere in there because, you know, uh, and, and I'm not quite sure where the totals uh, of the bond average out to, but uh, we can get that information from Mr. Tebow and show it up. I would think that the average cost is probably going to fall somewhere, you know, you know, three and a half percent. Uh, you know, towards four percent, maybe. I'm not even sure. Monique, any any idea what the overall average of what those bonds bond interest is? No, but I know we had approached say maybe five percent would be like within reason. Yeah, by the time you added the cost plus the you know, are we at one and a quarter or one and a half when you were discussing that? No idea. Either way, but the, but one point two five is what we'll, what the city will have. And uh, on top of the cost of the, you know, the bonds. And again, we have somebody out. My suggestion would be, again, an average of that to, to you know, to try to help bring, bring that interest rate down. Like I said, if, if the average comes to be 5%, it's still 1% lower than where, we're, where it is with the 6% when they're on an average. And I think it'll be a little bit lower than that myself, especially as time goes on, because I think a few of the more expensive bonds were some of the older, as far as on interest, if I'm not mistaken. So as those tend to go away, that average, uh, that average would tend to tend to drop somewhere. And then, you know, whether we do it at a particular point in time, 
or whether it's by project, uh, I, would, uh, I would think that if you're changing everybody's, you got to go by an average uh, annual cost. Yeah, the only reason I ask is that if we put in here that uh, the sewer assessment fee would be whatever it comes out to be for 20 years at an interest rate of 6%, We may get some negative feedback on that. Well, feedback is feedback, negative or positive. I mean, that's what we're yeah, but for. I think we should split them up. That was uh, a dollar figure, and then 20 so years let's just, at let's just state, state the interest rate. What hmm. interest rate? So let's just state the reality here in one single question where. Uh, Number 20 is going to be, do you feel your neighborhood should be sewered, yes or no? And then the next question is going to be a little bit of a statement with some options where uh, if sewers come to your neighborhood, uh, your property will be assessed. The assessment amount will be uh, one of the following. In addition, uh, you know, Connection to from the, your house to the public sewer will be at your expense. It will be a 6% interest rate on top of the assessment. Which assessment is affordable to you? And we got all these numbers here to pick from. Some, somewhere in here, we have, to, we have to spell out really that whether sewers, sewers come to your neighborhood, that, that's not the end of the cost. After that, you get a cost of connecting. You get a sewer rate that's going to be applied for usage. Well, that's why I wanted to have that first section. Right. Yeah. All, the, all the stuff in your letter. I think we can put all that into one statement and figure out which cost under that, on top of all that, is acceptable. All the numbers are here already. We're just going to figure out what statement we're going to put in front of it. So, what would you expect? A, a, you know, a sewer assessment to be reasonable. A, a reasonable sewer assessment, yeah. Reasonable or, or, or affordable uh, uh, sewer assessment. What, what would your expectations be for that? So somehow make a choice on that. So that's that's a simple method. I'm not I'm not bored with that. It's just a simple question, right? Yeah. In other words, rather than trying to get them to. Pick a number. Yeah, That's right. Where would you expect it to be? And, and again, well, you can leave the numbers uh, and, and have them check, you know, check one or all, all that apply, whatever. Uh, okay. Okay. You know, so or, not, or, to, or to qualify it with, in other words, with, with a range of what, uh, you know, a, a range of what septic systems are going for, with, with, with septic systems. You know, our uh, you know uh, an average uh, or a range of twelve thousand to thirty thousand. We would what would an acceptable sewer assessment be, knowing that septic systems would cost between these dollar amounts generally. You know, on on, okay. on average. So you know to try to tie it. That's what the, the, that seems to be what I've heard is the comparisons of what septic systems are, and uh, what so what's the benefit of going to the sewer as opposed to paying for a septic system? So maybe by by kind of putting those costs face to face with each other, they, uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't answer that question. Might even be able to simplify it by making an additional question and just <coughs> ask the question if, uh, if you were to replace your septic system at your residence, what would the cost be? Yeah. And then move on to the next question, back down to 20. Do you feel that you need to? Yeah, so so, some way we are it. It. Exactly. <coughs> you know, and exactly. then you're back in the number range. I don't think everybody knows what their septic system is going to cost, but I think everybody knows what they can afford. So I think if we, we keep the question to what is affordable for an assessment versus what would your septic system cost, I don't know if any, everybody's going to know that. But well, that's why I said we're you know we you know we're the, you know the uh, a range of you know a range of uh, of septic costs range from twelve to thirty thousand whatever whatever number you want to put on there, with knowing that fact, what would what would an acceptable sewer assessment be? So we could pose the question as. Well, the sewer could last more than one septic. 
eclectic system. Different right. 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 So now we get into the problem of multiple septic, multiple septics at the same residence. Yeah. Could be 14 now, but could be 25 in 15 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't matter to the homeowner. Yeah, right now. Why do they have to pay a $15,000 assessment or a $15,000 septic system? They're still going to be upset. You know, so the, it's, it's now, not what's going to happen 20 or 30 or 40 years. So why do we need that for their opinion? I think we just go back to simplicity here mm -hmm. and ask the question. Mm -hmm. What do you feel is an acceptable sewer assessment? Yeah. Yes. I was just trying to put a comparison. Maybe they could put something. Then we do that. But again, then the simplest question is the easiest one, especially in the survey. And, and leave all the numbers there for them to, to check. Mm -hmm. So that actually becomes number 21. Okay, so number 20, the question is, do you feel your neighborhood should be sewered, yes or no? Number 21 is, um, what do you feel is an acceptable sewer assessment? And we'll leave that range of, of numbers in there to check them out. Yeah. Uh, we can, all right. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. Anybody want to make any changes before we go to number 22? All right, we'll go to number 22. How do you feel about the town assuming responsibility for pumping maintenance and repair of all wastewater disposal disposal systems as municipal service funded through special revenues. Do you guys know what that means the first time you read it? <laughs> I had to read it two or three times. Yeah. Uh, Graham, I know you wanted this information too. Is, uh, is that something you still think you need on this survey? This particular question? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I think it's uh, geared towards um, how do you feel about the town taking over pumping out your septic tank. That's how I read it. Okay. Maybe we should just state it that way then. Yeah, that's unrealistic. Expect the town to go around and monitor and pump out everybody's septic systems. It's not really realistic to you and me, but it is a question that I think that was originally up. put in there by uh, the engineers thinking talk in their own minds when they're talking about uh, pumping, maintenance, and repair of all wastewater disposal systems yes, as a municipal service. I think they were talking about the infrastructure. The yeah, pump stations. Yeah, pump stations and pipes and things like that. I don't think it was meant to go around and start pumping out people. Right. Set the I think it was. Uh, it, yeah, it's been brought up a few times where uh, the town was considered pumping up everybody's septic tank in exchange for a, like a town-wide sewer program assessment, yeah. assessment throughout the town. So that, so. That'd be, it'd be like a, I guess it's it's geared towards the argument, well, you know, if I'm going to pay for the, if we're going to do a town-wide tax assessment for sewers, what am I going to get living out in Western Coventry for paying for it? All right. I say we just reword the question so everybody knows exactly what it is we're asking is how do you feel about the town um, pumping? Does that mean that if someone has you know, six kids in the family, uh, is putting all of their, uses a lot of detergent, has a garbage disposal, and oh, yeah. putting all the stuff into their septic system, that if this leach field fails, the town's going to go in there and dig it up and replace it? No. I, listen, we don't, we don't have any of the answers or the details around this question, other than the question has been asked many times, and we're just looking to get the information <coughs> back from the public how they feel about the town taking the responsibility of pumping out their septic tank. The, the, only, the only way I see this question being useful for future conversation is if it was discussed about doing a town-wide tax 
assessment. And there was a conversation about, well, if you're going to do it town wide, what services will you provide? For right. Them? Yeah, so that question should be posed first before asking that. But right now, that's not part of the discussion. So. You want to you take it out of there? Is that what you're saying? I mean, yeah. yeah. It's a consideration. Um, unless, unless sometime, if, if you all see sometime in the future that it would be useful. I personally, I don't, I don't think that's even gets to an option. But I know a lot of people have asked the question, so I'm, I'm only leaning towards it here to to see if we get any response to it and what the response is. So I just. I want to keep the question in there, I think. I just want to make the wording simpler to see what the public's reaction is to it. I, I think it's a very confusing question. <laughs> we yeah, try I mean, to figure out what it means over here when somebody gets it and looks at it. And I don't even understand what, what, it, what it's asking. Um, I think it should um, state something along the fact that what the town was to do with uh, the town wide sewer pumping. Uh, Program for individuals that don't have serious. Yeah, but still, I mean, there's so, there's so many ifs with this. It's one thing yeah, to say. Yeah, it, it is a lot of ifs. All we're trying to do is, is get the public's opinion on it. So you want to cut it? Hmm? You want to cut it? I don't want to cut it. I, I kind of want to see what the answer is, too. I mean, we all have experience with this stuff. Personally, I don't think it's a viable thing, but it has been brought up so many times. That I would like to know what somebody else's opinion is. And since we're sending out a survey to get everybody's opinion, I think it's a perfect time to ask it. It is just one question on here. Uh, if there's more about it and, that's, and some of the other questions, then we can limit it to just yeah, this the one. The first thing that would go through my mind as a homeowner reading this, something like this, is, well, oh, sure, I'd like to have them come and take care of my septic system, but what's it going to cost me in user fees or property taxes? Without knowing that, how can I answer the question? I mean, if you came to me and said, I mean, it cost me about $200 every two years to get my septic tank pumped up. If you came back and said your property taxes are going to go up $500 a year, but we'll take care of your septic tank, you say, absolutely not. I'll do it. So without being able to give them any cost information, how's anybody going to be able to answer that intelligently? It's just a survey. We're just trying to see what the public's opinion is. I think we limit the question to something like this. How do you feel about the town pumping your septic tank annually, similar to garbage pickup? I just want to see what the answer is. Sign me up. so many times that I, I really do want to know the public's opinion on that. Alright, so 22, so I have right now is, how would you feel about the town pumping your subject tank annually, similar to garbage pickup? Do you modify that at all? you got you got to say that with a tax increase. It's not... Second portion, uh, as a municipal service funded your special revenue, i.e. property taxes, you just right. There will be no tax increase to the public for any of that? That would just be probable. Well, that thing should be in there. You know, Adam, this is such an such a open question. I'm almost hesitant to, to put anything about the cost of it because we really have no idea what the cost is or how, how we're going to do it. It's, it's really just a question of what the public's opinion about the town public. Well, everybody's going to say yes if they think it's the free. So 
Right. If you want to get into that, okay. well, well, we can we can leave we can leave the uh, the line work in here that says you know funded through special revenues, i.e. property taxes, user fees, etc. service funded through special revenues, i.e. property taxes, user fees, etc. See what kind of comments we get out. Hearing no other opinions, we're going to move on to 23. Okay. All right, 23. How do you feel about the town funding all or portions of the municipal sewer system expansion through the general fund? Question perfect the way it's written. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 24. Do you agree some areas of common trees should be sewered? I no problem with that question either. Oh, you already answered that? Yeah. yeah. You already had that in another question. I don't know. It's going to be half of that one. Well, I do you feel you enable 23, it. Right? Yeah. If we back up to 23 for a minute, if we leave that in there, Everybody in the town should have an opinion on that. Not just the sewer facilities plan. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That is true. something that would have to be handled in a special referendum or it would be handled in the, the town meeting. <laughs> uh, I would leave that up to the politicians to decide if they want to go down that road or not. Yeah, but I mean, if, if it was, would it be a referendum or something that was discussed and voted on at the uh, annual planning training? Uh, it wouldn't need to be. It could be uh, something that we just assumed either through the Public Works Department or some other department. And yeah, but it would be an increase. I don't, I don't know if the legis state legislation would, would allow that, because I, I think the enabling legislation uh, uh, calls for, in other words, it, it, that, it, that the uh, populace of, uh, of the town does not pay for any of that. It's paid by the people on the sewer line. I think that, would, that legislation would probably have to change uh, without having it, it in a, like an all-day referendum or something, but the people approve that to add that to, you know, uh, to a, a budget which we would then be able to bring to a financial town meeting. But uh, but just to present it at FTM, uh, I, I personally would not be for that at all, uh, because I just again I think it I think it violates uh, that uh, enabling legislation yeah. for the state. And I want and I'd certainly want more input than. Uh, <laughs> You know, we don't want to go down that something road. on wrong day. <laughs> Correct. I would not want to see that. I don't mind having the question on here for the, you know, for, uh, uh, for, the, you know, for the survey, but uh, uh, you get to see it. But then, you know, the, the, the people are on, uh, you know, somewhere on the facilities plan, uh, of course they, they're going to want assistance. But then, like I said, then you've got the, the rest of the town. So number four, I kind of like to leave it in there, but I'd like to move it up next to number 20. So the question at number 20 was, do you feel your neighborhood should be sewered? I'd like to change 24. It says, do you feel that other neighborhoods other than your own should be sewered? Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> Not their own. Right. <laughs> I think 
think the question's worthwhile asking. You know, I think a lot of people think that the, the sewer program works for Tyrock Avenue, Sydney Bottom Road, Main Street stuff, all the commercial businesses, but they don't want it in their neighborhood. It's all residential. So, just asking you guys if you think we should have two questions in there, one separating your neighborhood from other neighborhoods. So you guys said no, scrap it. No, I, I, I don't, wouldn't mind seeing the other ones. Are yeah. there other areas that, uh, that you yeah. think that, uh, that, that may need to be sold? Right. Okay. Um, going over Lynn's suggestions um, under his point number three, letter D, <coughs> says, should the town be allowed to charge a fee to process your assessment payments, i.e., uh, 0.5% above the town loan cost. Do we address that in work in any of these questions? No. Do we want to throw a question like that in there? I thought that was going to be in one of in that 2021. Well, we did specify at it somewhere in here that it was going to be at an interest rate over 20 years. All that stuff, but um, you know the specifics about charging a fee above the interest rate. That specific question was not in here. Yeah, but yeah, we were going to add something, but but we chose not to do the six percent and breaking it down like that. You know. Right. Uh, it, it, it may be a question asking. You know, is uh, uh, again. Uh, uh, the charge again. I, I wouldn't want to put half a percent. I want to put, in other words, if we're going to go somewhere, it's probably going to be uh, to that 1.25 area, which is uh, which is what we've discussed, which would probably be fair. Right. So maybe something to that effect would say, you know, would uh, do, do you feel that uh, uh, an interest rate of uh, the town's cost plus 1.25 would be would be fair? You know, is it a fair? Assumption? Is a fair interest rate for a for an assessment. When you when you talk to the people at work to get that number, did they tell you why they picked that particular number, one point two five? Why they picked one point two five? Again, it's it's in the it's, it's already in the Warwick in, in the Warwick ordinance. And again, and I'm sure it's to help cover the costs of. Uh, I mean, in, in Warwick, they actually had you know they've got a uh, you know their sewer authority. So I mean, you've got. Uh, You've got you've got paid personnel which are which are in there and uh, uh, and, and making that happen. Plus, I think it's been it's been there for a, a lot longer. But they just brought that down, so their interest rate was obviously up higher than that, that as well too. And the discussions with the, uh, with the finance director and the tax, you know, he, he feels as though that that, uh, that that would be an acceptable number. So I think that it's going to take. Council discussion as well as uh, yeah. but, I mean I would like to know, you know what like, with the property tax collections you know, what portion of the property tax collections is actually used for the administration of it, the collection, the posting and doing all the rest mm -hmm. of this, sending it out. Is it one percent? Is it one and a half percent? To get some kind of an idea of what we should be charging for well, this. Right, but again, it, it, uh, not necessarily that that would be the fee, or maybe put a couple of them, you know, is, uh, you know, do you feel, you know, is, is it, uh, uh, would you prefer to see a, you know, the, the, the present 6% interest rate, or uh, go to a, you know, uh, a town's cost plus, you know, one, one and a half percent, one point two five percent whatever number we end up putting on there, you know, which, uh, you know, which, would, would you prefer, you know, which would, you know, would be more acceptable? Yeah, that might be a good you know, question. You know, we're presently at 6%. Is that, you know, is, is 6% acceptable? Or would you prefer to see uh, you know, the town's cost plus, you know, the 1.5% or 1.25? Well, I, I think the issue... Because either way, at this point, 1.25 and 1.5 isn't on the board yet, yeah. but it's something that we, you know, as a council could still consider to, to change the ordinance. I think the issue is that the 6%, uh, depending upon what our actual costs are, which I think what they live, what the loans at like 3 and 3 quarter percent or something like that, 4%. So the 6% maybe is a little excessive. 
Well, well it's, it's what it presently is at. It was originally at 8%, and it came, and it came down, you know, uh, again. And at the time that I think that was originally set uh, is the, uh, uh, I mean, the interest rates were higher, and obviously they picked, the, you know, they picked, them, picked that number and went with it. And obviously with rates being lower, uh, that's where we've seen the, you know, uh, the feedback that 6% you know, is, is too, you know, is too high. But according for, for the uh, for the purposes of uh, of the survey, we're at six percent already. That's that's what we're at. You know, we're we're presently at six percent interest for for sewer assessments. You know, is, is that accept it, You know, uh, is that acceptable, or would you prefer to see? You know, I mean, obviously they're probably going to pick a, a lower amount, uh, uh, which would be the cost plus the you know one you know one and a quarter one and a half percent. You know. Well, that's that was the question I, I asked one, with one, uh, with one, one and a half working yeah, the town. Yeah, in other words, that was discussion that uh, we had loosely for the most part with Malik and Bob. They felt as though that those numbers, uh, you know, that one one and a half or one and a quarter would uh, would probably be acceptable to cover the costs that we uh, that we have. Yeah, I, I think that I, I don't think there were any hard uh, calculations done with it. Or did Bob uh, run those on his uh, on his spreadsheet? We we were running um, the loss in revenue and how that would impact, <coughs> and we did it with I think four percent, five percent. I think we started to do it with three percent, but then we would have to do interest from day one. We couldn't give the first year free, so we, it, I think and the impact was. Yeah. All right. So it wasn't so it wasn't about covering covering costs at that point, but it just it was a loss of revenue that, that we had to see what we which in essence is where we, we needed to be on that anyway to find out what we're going to cover the costs and the revenue is going to cover. Yeah, I think we just need to make sure whatever that number ends up being that it, it's it's we can't sit here and say. Well, my thing in the money. survey would, you know, I would say go to one and a half percent. If we decide as a council to go lower at one one and twenty five, you're not you're not going higher with it, you know, because I don't think it, if if we were to do a cost uh, plus, I, I don't think it would be higher than one and a half percent, but it may be lower. We may, you know, it may be deemed that going to the one and a quarter is 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 feasible for us to do to match where where uh, where Warwick is on there on this. So yeah. I think just the original issue was. Uh, comments about the towns making money on these loans. Right. So we just need to make sure that we're just covering our costs. Well, well the one and a half is going to, yeah, in essence, to cover the costs of administration and other things. It's not just the, the cost of the money mm -hmm. uh, at that point. But, uh, All right, so let's come up with a question. Yep. Because we deleted a lot of questions. Right. We have room to add yep. a couple of the important ones. So the question has to be, Somewhere around, <clears throat> would you support um, an increased interest rate of what, 1, 1.5, 2% above the borrowing cost to facilitate what, town operation? Or what, is, what, what do we do with that money? Yeah, well, I mean, well, Lens, should the town be allowed to, uh, that's what I was trying to work on, should the town be allowed to charge a fee? To process sewer assessment payments, you know, i.e., charge uh, uh, half a percent. Well, again, we're already charging six percent. Uh, I mean, should the, uh, okay. should the should the town change should the town change the sewer assessment uh, uh, interest rate from six percent to cost plus one and a half percent? Right. All right. Um, I think we're just going to take lines, take it right out of lines document. Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps you're saying it's right though. I don't well, know if I think we're going to change. Well, one and a quarter is right, or one and a half. I think, think we're, we're going gonna, gonna to leave it as some as some spaces, whether it's 0.5 or yeah. one or 1.5, and see if we can get a if we can get one of those numbers circled. All right, the question's got to be in there. Okay, so well, we're going to use your question. Should the, should the town be allowed to charge a fee? Process sewer assessments of the town's loan costs, um, but we have 0.5 percent. We'll just put three or four different line items that say 0.5 or one or 1.5 percent above. We can get something circled. Sure. Okay. Good. Sounds good. I think they should be. It's just what would be fair to them, right? Of course they should be. If 
back end the money they're entitled to it. Right. How much would how much are they entitled to? Six percent, three percent. Alright. You should have looked from day one. When does the town have to start paying that interest rate? Day one. They do pay up, yeah. They warn the get the uh, don't charge the the you know, the assessment and all you said so you said that oh, you, uh, you get a year for it. And it's a year for so, you know of assessment that it's not charged because it's always in arrears. Yep. Will they get a general letter if the project moves forward? We'll have any other information in it that doesn't want to be here? Yes or no. Yes or not. Right. It's a possibility if yeah. they change the interest rate. So, you know, the question, uh, Tony's brought up a good point. We're asking the question, should the town be allowed to charge? So we've got to make that a yes or no, just for the fact that we're asking if we should be allowed. So we're going to leave it at 0.5% above the, the town's cost and just ask the question, should the town be allowed to charge a fee above over? Right? Yes or no? You guys good with that? All right, what else? We're, at, we're all done with questions on here. What, now, what questions do we need to, to add? I think the big question is, what people want to know, is whether the, the, um, the town should be able to put sewers in without, without public's opinion. How do we, how do we put that question in here? Uh, Town need an all-day referendum to uh, to continue with the uh, you know with the sewer uh, continue with, uh, you know adding sewer contracts or you know, adding more sewer projects. You just can't change that. Should the town be allowed to install sewers in your neighborhood without your approval? <coughs> yes and no. Right? Simple to the point? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Should there be a uh, uh, town referendum or a town vote? Should sewers should go in certain areas and bodies? Well, that's going to be the result of whether they answer yes or no with that. So, I mean, I think we pretty much nailed that topic with that one question. I think we've got to go to a different topic here. Yeah, what's the other, what's the other issues? If we're, gonna, if we're going to ask people about, you know, do you think other parts of the town should be sewered? Or do you think we should be able to go to the serious and stuff? Um, what about the, and the questions time? about the, you know, using property taxes? We might want to expand the mail. Well, before we get there, what about mandatory times? Do we want to ask the question here? Yeah. Well, that's in the enabling legislation, but that would be covered 